Hi John, I'm Mizzel from The Upcoming. It's lovely to speak to you. Congratulations on this fantastic film. How did you get involved in the project in the first place? I fought against being in the project <laughs> during the COVID era and I offered music uh, and I would go to Lena and Lee Hill's house and, and just play songs for them sitting on the porch. And they chose a couple, uh, they chose one song and then um, I said, great. And they asked me again to be in it and I just didn't much feel like working. And uh, this is a great interview. <laughs> and, <laughs> but then uh, Lena sent me a two minute clip of the film and it was so brilliant, just what they were working on that I knew I was screwed and I had to be part of it. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your role in the film. I know you work quite closely with Lena in her role as Sarah. So tell me a little bit about that role. Yeah, uh, Gregory Malloy is a gentleman that she, whose car, well, I don't want to give too much away, but she uh, looks for him, let's just put it like that, throughout the film and, uh, and, then, and then finds him eventually. Uh, Gregory, yeah, we, it, was, it was a lot improvised. Uh, Gregory's just a fairly simple guy, a carpenter, and um, living kind of alone. I feel like the movie deals a lot with our modern malaise of loneliness, and uh, I guess I'm, I'm a part of that in my character. Can you talk about where the location was and what was that like being there filming? Yeah, somewhere in the Mojave Desert. I don't quite recall where we were, but it was uh, beautifully desolate, uh, you know, uh, which I think assists assist the movie a good deal. Uh, it's, it has a brutal beauty to it, and uh, again, I feel like it was really an appropriate place for, uh, for our meeting. And obviously, how is it kind of having these people kind of come on board? You've got Win um, and you know, and these amazing producers. And as it as it sort of picks up the pace, you've got this amazing team. How is that working with such an ensemble sort of team? Well, uh, Orion Williams is a wonderful producer, and and Vin Vendors, um, I believe, came on after the film. Uh, but but I think they've been helping us a great deal uh, along the way since. So. And how does it feel to be here at Rain Dance, kind of bringing these independent storytelling things to life? Oh, uh, it's really fantastic. I mean, I love London, and I haven't been here in a long time. I'm working in Reykjavik right now. I'm just here for the night. But uh, I'm excited to see the film in a the theater. And uh, Rain Dance seems like a really wonderful festival. I'm, I'm glad to be part of it. And I believe your music obviously came into the film along with Connie, um, who I believe the story was kind of a starting point about about her missing. And then there's a, um, a new composer on board as well. So can you tell me a bit about the music that you bring to the project? Yes, again, I just that was all I really wanted to offer. Uh, I was reluctant to work. I hadn't worked in a long time. And uh, Lena's a friend I've known for a long time. And I really care, care a great deal for Michel as well, who's uh, di directed the film. And uh, they just charmed me in. Musically, you know, I just brought them a lot of songs, and they chose one, and then they chose another one, as I, as I found out when I, when I saw the film on my computer. But again, I'm excited to see it here. Yeah. And what do you hope viewers will take away from watching this tonight and, and in the future? Yes, what should people take away? Um, I guess whatever they like. I feel like it's a really incredibly brave performance from Lena, which is... I, I hadn't seen anything quite like that. I was quite haunted by the movie. You know, I can, I've been doing this long enough to where I can divorce myself from being in it and just watch the movie. And uh, yeah, it really, it really got me. And I, I'm a, I think tonight will get me again. I hope so. But I, I feel like the film deals ultimately with, with uh, again, our modern disease, which is, which is loneliness. And, uh, and I believe it deals with it in a really unique and uh, interesting way. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Thank you so kindly. Appreciate it. Thanks.